there. This damn pool's a bastard, it is. We need to talk. It's Nayland! Lycanthropy can afflict anyone, but it is a curse. So sorry, but I have to. You don't understand! I love him! He was near to being mine till you came along! Go away! Leave us be! Not till I find out what's going on here. I love him. Always have. Even after I'd learned his secret. You... You knew? Did you know I shot myself in here to wait out me change? I knew, and I didn't mind. But you chose Hannah. I wanted her to see you. I wanted her to fear you. She'd not have stayed. And we could be together. You brought her here that night it was the reason i had the taste of blood in me mouth come morn i did it for us she was to see you turn not more i didn't want her death you've got to believe me i don't and i'll kill you willingly first time for that in fact You won't kill anyone, ever again. No! Don't hurt him! Get out of here before I change my mind. Run.
Come on. An old feeble woman. What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Our cows will croak, kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. Done. The good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood? Just not my specialty. Fighting evil? That's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Fine. I see any damaged shrines? I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts, and the gods will guide ye. You look awful. Run, Roach. Whoa! Move it! By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood.
But don't stop raining, my arse will rot off. This damn fool's a bastard, it is. There wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. Bit change in here. Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. 
takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of our father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another type. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew. But not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, we're like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth and we sets off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it, fiery marks on her hands. 